The last of the nominated new musicals is the one with the most. Spring Awakening received 11 Tony nominations. Oh, I'm gonna be the story is adapted from a once banned 19th century German play and chronicles the trials of restless and uneasy teens. This alt-rock musical has been attracting audiences of all ages, though it has some clearly mature themes, including some graphic scenes. Your mother knows your bottom hangs out. She does. She's, my mom has seen it 15 times. Okay. She is, she's well aware of what's going on on the stage, yeah. Hey, Gabor, do I make myself clear? While staying true to its classic roots, there's an imaginative and even contemporary spin to Spring Awakening, an inventive use of simple sets, and high-energy choreography, all categories recognized with Tony nominations, including the music by noted singer-songwriter Duncan Sheik. You can't hide up on that stage, and, and, and you wouldn't want to, because the music is so in the moment and so emotionally driven and so beautiful and powerful that you just have to surrender yourself to it and give yourself up to it. And it's a thrilling, rather cathartic experience to go through night after night on stage. But getting to this point was a long labor of love and perseverance. So Melchior and Moritz, still pull out your mics because that's your gesture. There were seven years of workshops and an off-Broadway run. With all of that, there was never a doubt by this company that this show belonged on Broadway. And one of the things that makes our show so special is you have this young cast getting out there every day, never phoning it in, giving 100%, doing, the, doing their work as hard as they can. So to be in this sort of a way is is totally incredible and there's an unusual opportunity for the audience in spring awakening katie mcgee is here to tell us all about it katie hi dana there might be a new definition to the best seats in the house when it comes to way for two of this year's tony nominated shows there's an interesting alternative to sitting front and center now, theater seats on the extreme sides or even in back may be more coveted than ever. The catch is that those locations have the audience seated on the stage during performances. Spring Awakening has the seated audience integrated among the actors. While it inherit the wind, the audience has a role to play as part of the courtroom gallery present for the infamous monkey trial of 1926. I'm not used to having an audience sitting behind me because you're playing most of the time out front, and, but it worked terrifically. There's, it's sort of like a happening, and uh, they love sitting back there because they feel part of the show. And audiences have something to be happy about as well. Prices for these seats cost significantly less than traditional seats, about $30. $36 for one of the 63 seats on stage here. There are about 26 seats at Spring Awakening. Those go for about $33 a piece. I love having the audience on stage. We feed off of them and they feed off of us. You feel almost part of the show. All of a sudden, like somebody stands up next to you and you get a whole different, you definitely get a different perspective of sitting up there. A completely different perspective. I don't know if I like it better, but it's definitely different. That difference, what you see and sometimes don't at both shows because of seating angles and sight lines. Back of heads, profiles, or a missing expression might hinder a Broadway experience. But for audiences and actors in general, the proximity only leads to a richer experience. It's totally a communal sort of experience. It's the closest I would ever be to being in a Broadway production. No, that, that's amazing. Sitting there, just being so close to the actors and actresses is incredible. Dana, it's a really interesting way to experience a Broadway show. It's a great idea. We'll see you a little bit later. We're just getting started. Stay